Hey everybody, Joel here. Uh, I want to make this little tutorial. I'm definitely not one of these machine tutorial guys. I know there's a lot of people that do just hundreds of these things, but I just wanted to make this quick one because I haven't seen one that does uh, what I needed. So I've got a machine. I actually have a machine micro and I have complete and I'm wanting to be able to play the machine micro uh, in keyboard mode playing a battery instrument of you know my own kit that I've kind of have mapped the way I want and I want to be able to record that straight into Ableton into a clip and play it back straight from Ableton uh, I don't want to have to mess with the machine sequencer and all that stuff it doesn't I, I've already got a sequencer in Ableton uh, so I don't need to do things twice so that's what I just want to show here quickly how to do that um, I've seen some other tutorials on it but they add extra steps that aren't necessary so this is the best way I've found if someone's got a better way feel free to show me okay so I got a MIDI track I need to load up machine so I'm gonna go to my uh, plugins here put in machine All right, now I'm going to load in my battery. And for my own personal kit, I haven't rebuilt the database and machine and all that stuff to be able to see it. Uh, I need to do that, but in order to load my own personal kit right now, I'm just going to load this 909 multiple kit. So that's loaded there. And then over here, that plug-in icon is lit up for the battery, and I click this little arrow, and it's going to open up the battery uh, window. So there it is. And this is, um, this is the 909 multiple kit. I created my own 909 uh, detailed kit. So I'm going to just go to, you click on that button, go to File, Open, and I'm opening Recent because I just had it. So this is my 909 detailed kit machine mapped. This is my own personal kit, right? So see how I have things kind of moved around and mapped the way I want to be able to play them on the machine. So I'm going to put the machine now in keyboard mode. Doing that on my hardware, you can just go here and click the keyboard icon. So when I play the machine pads, it plays the things I want to uh, have played on the pads that I want right so anyway so that's going now so I can hear it but now I want to be able to send the MIDI into Ableton to be able to record on a clip right so what I'm gonna do is create another track here create another MIDI track and then put an external instrument on it right and so I want to set this up to be receiving MIDI from the machine and this, this actually kind of threw me because this is all up top here are all like the controller stuff and all that. That's not where you want to be getting it from. You want to, after that line, you want to be getting the MIDI from this track, not from anything else. So opening up and I'm going down here to receive MIDI from that track, right? And then uh, click on machine to there. So this now is set up to receive MIDI from this track here which is the machine track so now I still need to set up the MIDI coming out of machine into the host so this is where I've seen some other tutorials doing a lot of other stuff all you need to do is uh, you just go to this icon here you make sure that the kits selected there you go to output you go to MIDI and you send that to the host so you're done now. This is sending MIDI out of machine into this external, into this machine track here, which then goes to this external instrument. So I can now record. So if I click this and I open that up and I'm hitting now on the machine. So I'm recording, right? All right. So, but the problem is now if I play that back, you don't hear anything yet right so what I need to do is set up this external instrument to be sending back out to the machine so you click the external instrument MIDI 2 go to the machine and now check it out what happens if I play 
So I hope you can hear that right now. That's a feedback, a MIDI feedback loop. So let me stop that. So what's happening is the MIDI is coming out of that external instrument, going into the machine and, and like looping, right? Like a feedback loop. So you got to stop that. So all you do to stop that is in machine, you go to the MIDI input, or you go to input, click on MIDI, undo that through button, and now it's not going to feedback. So now, check it out, I'm going to re-record a clip. Right, I recorded the clip, and now I'm going to play that clip back. And, uh, oh, I forgot, I need to, to set that back up here. Uh, the external instrument, I need to set this MIDI out to the machine. So now when it goes, it's playing. So that's it. So I'm set up now. I can open my battery kit in machine. I can record it straight to an Ableton clip. And then I can push play and it plays straight back. I wish there was a way to be able to do this all within one track. Maybe there is and I don't know. Uh, but as far as I can tell right now, the only way I know how to do it is to have these two different tracks so uh, within Ableton. Anyway, I hope that helps.